Hey guys, it's Drea. I have another lipstick declutter for you. This is all my high-end lipsticks or, you know, like Sephora and, and stuff that would be carried in Sephora type stuff. And uh, I'm going to declutter this today. If you want to, you can check out all my other declutters. I'll list my playlist in the description bar down below. To begin with, though, I forgot this in my liquid lipstick declutter. This is the Tattoo Junkie um, Lip Paint and Effects in Rebel. And I hate this stuff, so I'm decluttering it. <laughs> but I just wanted to mention that in this video. It's just I, I do not like that formula, so it's going to go. All right, let's start with all this stuff. I'm going to start up here with my Bite Beauty because I have a feeling a lot of this is going to go. This is, this stuff is only good for like a year and a few of these are going on now over two years. So I'm going to do the sniff test and we're going to see. Okay, this is in the shade Musk. Still smells okay. I don't know. I feel like I've never really worn this. It's very nude. Um, I'm not really in love with that, so I'm going to say no to that one. This one is old. I love it, though. It's Ving. Ving. Still smells fine. It's a really beautiful color. So, since it smells fine, it's staying. This one is Grenache, another one of my favorites. It's a little bit more of a purple, purple tone. The other one is a little bit more of a pink tone. This one is, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. I feel like that needs to go. I haven't worn it in a long time anyway. Um, Sorbet, this is a favorite of mine. It's very peachy pink. It's so pretty. So that one still smells good. That one's going to stay. Uh, I got a couple of these in like a gift set for National Lipstick Day a few years ago, which normally I wouldn't buy colors like this. This is Retsina. That's way too concealery for me anyway, so that can go. And then the last one is Fig, which I think is a really pretty color. Mm, I don't know though. I haven't really ever worn it. It doesn't smell, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. So we'll get rid of that one. So keeping two of those, getting rid of four. Um, this is the Hourglass Girl Lip Stilo in Achiever. I love the color of this, but the last time I wore it, yeah, it doesn't smell good. You guys, this is friggin' $45 lipstick. I have not had this for all that long. It just, it went bad so quickly compared to everything else I own. I'm really upset about that. That needs to go, unfortunately. Um, this is a Shuamura Mario Peach collab. It's called Saved Peach. It's just like a, a sheer coral color. It's super cute. I got that at Christmas time. So you are staying. Um, all the Kat Von D ones, I'm not even going to swatch because I know they're staying. Kat Von D's uh, Lovecraft, OG Lolita, Divine. If you have not tried the new formula of the Studded Kiss lipsticks, I would really encourage you to do that. They are really good. They used to be crappy, and now they're really, really good. And I want more, but I'm being good myself. And then also the Sephora Lip Stories. Um, this is in the shade We, O-U-I exclamation point. It's really beautiful, and the um, the formula is super creamy, so I like that a lot, so that's definitely staying. These are the older Sephora lipsticks, which I don't know if you can still get. They might still be on the website, but they're, they're not in my store anyway. And I really don't use these two ever. Uh, this is a shine, this is a matte, that's why the packaging is different, but I don't need those. However, this one is so cool. This is called, oh yeah, I always forget, it's on the inside. This is called Magnetism, and it's like, I always compare this to a copper penny because that's exactly what it looks like. It's like this coppery shininess. It's so cool. I don't wear it day to day, obviously, but I've worn it a few times for different videos, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, that's good for here. Let's do a switcheroo. All right, I have a feeling this might be a little bit tougher. Um, Starting down here, YSL, that can stay. These two by Quo, these, it's not high end, but I kind of keep them here because I feel like the packaging is a little bit nicer than just regular drugstore. Uh, Quo is a Canadian brand in the drugstore. This is Sinbad and Gossip Session. I love Gossip Session. It's such a nice peachy, nudie shade. I wear that a lot. These are even magnetic, like, 
such nice packaging. Uh, this Sinbad though, it's just not my favorite. I never wear it. There's a dog hair. Never wear it. It's just a little sheer, so whatevs, you know, I can get rid of this now at this point. It's not a big deal. Um, here's another YSL, but this is the, what are these called? Rouge Pour Couture. That's, this one is the um, Rouge Volup Shine, yeah. And this is red. It's number 01. Yeah, number 01. It's one of my favorite red lipsticks ever. It's so creamy. It looks so beautiful on. And I don't wear a lot of red, but I do reach for this when I want to. So that's staying. This is a Marc Jacobs. I don't even know. Do they still make these? I got this in winters years ago. This is called Headliner. I haven't used a lot of it. Like, that's fully rolled up. So, yeah, I have not used this a ton. It's a nice color, but I just, I never use it. I'm going to get rid of this at this point. It's just getting old, so that can go. All of these Urban Decay, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, okay, Naked and Fuel are definitely staying. I mean, Naked is just, you know, just a perfect nude color. Fuel is a nice, really warm nude. This came out with the Naked Heat palette. I know I'm upside down to you guys. I'm trying not to like make it weird for you, but sorry if it is. Um, this one is called Weirdo. This does not look good on me. I wanted to love this. It's like a pinky nude, but it just, it grabs on the dry patches really strangely. It's not a nice shade. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one's older. This is called Rush. Um, you can get this now in the Vice formula. This is when they used to be called the Revolution lipsticks. And it's a beautiful color and it still smells fine. So I'm going to keep that one. Okay, Too Faced, I've got two of the Peach Kiss ones. I love this formula, I love these shades, so these are staying. And then I have Spice Spice Baby from the La Creme in my purse, it's my Holy Grail lipstick. But this is called Juicy Melons. I had this in my makeup use up last year, just to try to get some use out of it, and as you can see I did. Uh, but I don't love this. It sits a little weirdly on my lips. It doesn't look quite right on me. So at this point, I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's getting pretty old, so that can go. Um, these two from Anastasia. This is the new matte lipstick formula. This one is called Plumeria. Really beautiful. I love this formula. I have minis of these if you saw my mini declutter as well. And this one is called Stargazer. So pretty. Love the Anastasia matte lipstick formula. This is another Quo one. This is called the, you know what? It doesn't say and I can never remember. It's super cool packaging. So as you can see, it's acrylic. It's got this design inside and then that clicks and comes out. And it's a really nice shade, but it doesn't quite sit well on my lips and it's starting to smell not bad, but not good again. So that can go too. Um, the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. This is a really nice formula. The packaging is really beautiful. It's got a magnet as well. But this like broke at one point. I guess it's too soft and being pushed forward when you apply it, it just kind of like didn't break, but it's really heavily leaning against that side. Um, this is in the shade Reckless, so I'm going to get rid of this. I haven't worn it in so long, mainly because I'm afraid to put it on that it's going to like break on my mouth. Uh, this is a Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Strip. I I like this. The formula is not the greatest, but I'm going to keep it for now. It's a nice nude. I can get some use out of it. I've got these two from Dior. This one is like this dual. Well, can't really see because it wipes over itself, but it's got a core inside that is lighter than the outside. This is called Mysterious Calypso. You can kind of see there, it's kind of lighter in the middle. Um, I like it, it's not my favorite, but I'm going to keep it. And then this from Dior is one of the Addict in Exotique. This is a nice spring color. It's just really balmy, like peachy pink color. And then I've got a couple NARS. I've got Scarlet Empress, which looks kind of deep, but it's actually more sheer than that. You can see, really cool in the winter months, fall. 
And then this one is Bridget from the Audacious line. It's just a really nice wearable peachy color. Uh, I've got this pretty vulgar one. It's called the Bury Them With a Smile and the shade name is Prim and Proper. Really beautiful packaging. I love this color too, but the packaging really is like, I'll give you a nice good close up of that. Like the packaging is so beautiful. I just love this lipstick tube. It's so pretty. And then these two are both Laura Mercier, I think. Nope, this one is Smashbox. This is a Be Legendary in um, Primrose. And this is a really good wearable shade, but I never do wear it. I feel like I should get rid of this. I haven't worn this in so long and I just, yeah, it, it's okay to let that one go now. And then the Laura Mercier in Antique Pink. I've had this so long, I don't wear it a lot. I feel like I should though. It's nice mauvey nude. I think this one's gonna survive this time around because it is like really nice and wearable. So we're gonna keep that one. Um, I feel like, will these all fit in here now? Oh, we're so close. Well, you know what? This one normally goes in my purse anyway. So, um, yeah, that's pretty darn good. So I'm keeping 25, I'm getting rid of 14, which is not quite 50%, um, but I did way more than 50% in other videos, so I think this is pretty good. That's it for today. I will see you around in my next video. Bye, guys.